Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. So we're just waiting. We've unhooked the Jeep right now and we have to get the bus up a really long hill. Kyle's going first and then um, we, I will be very far behind him. Let's hope that this goes smoothly. Kyle's got to, we've got to get it into the, the mechanics property. So that requires going up a really large hill. He's got to like get a very large head of steam to go up this hill. That's why I'm like following really far behind. All right, looks like he made it up there. Really cool scenic cruiser that uh, he's got over here. Let's make sure I get it up the hill. I mean, we're worried about Kyle, but for real, for real, your girl has never really driven up a bunch of hills before. And Kyle's up over here. Oh my God, oh my God. Where am I supposed to go? Oh. Hey, look at Kyle go. Super proud of him. So, how did your drive up the hill go? Good, I, you know, he's, you know, govern her out, get her all the power you can get. And I got a little nervous about halfway up, but she made it up pretty good. And then getting into this spot, I had a little issue uh, backing up because I was running low. We're just, we don't have power. And we don't know why. And we got to figure that out. If we can figure that out, I think this bus will be a lot nicer and easier to drive. So we got parked and we got, did a little bit, a couple things. He looked it over. I had a couple like, leak, exhaust leaks coming out. And one of the main exhaust pipes had two very loose clamps on it. And I was seen to be getting quite a bit of air going out through there. So if that's our issue, we'll know pretty quickly. If not, we'll have to bring it back and do some more. Let's go. Any of them are broken, the Jeep? Yes. Oh, so what are you checking? Like, what are we listening for? Nothing. We just want to, we're going to see how much boost we get on the turbo. Oh, that's this okay. gauge right here. Right here. So okay. not yet. Not, we're just... Awesome. Alright. Kyle happened to just um, make the wrong turn out of the place. Out of the mechanics on the test drive. So now we gotta go the long way around. You like that basket hanging back there? Ooh, that's a travel day, y'all. Um, so hopefully we're gonna get turned around here because you can't just turn around anywhere in a bus. So get turned around so we just did a nice little three-point turn here had to back down a side road because as you can see this is a one lane road so it can be kind of tricky getting in and around it that's why you follow directions people. that's why you listen I when, did, when... I, I did I, I thought I did uh -huh. So we're doing about 40 miles per hour now into it pretty good. We'll make sure that we get this turn right. We're gonna turn in and then you guys are gonna get a front row seat to going back up that hill. So right now, Kyle's gotta really get up ahead of steam. Well, when you get a little closer, you gotta push it to the governor. That means it's, 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 it's screaming. To give us the horsepower, so we need to get up this Ginormous whoop, whoop. We can do it. She can do it. No. Why? Why are you saying that? That's not very nice. You're in this thing, so I Yeah. That's all right. She's got it. Blue Betty's got this. Look at her. Y'all don't understand how steep of a hill this actually is. Wow. What happened to you? Crawling up under this nasty bus. You've ruined your red, white, well, and thin. I mean, it was... well, you look 
Yeah. You look lovely. Molly, it sounds like someone's killing you in here. We you can need hear everything you're doing. No, I don't want to do laundry. What, then, then go to bed. There's yeah, too much not... hoodies, and that's basically what it's taking up. Can I do it, Daddy? Let me get, I get it back right here. <laughs> <laughs> Mom filmed all that. Yeah, I'm filming right now, just to show you how, like, how ridiculous <laughs> you're being. You're being so ridiculous. What did we find out, dear? Well, looks like we've got a turbo issue, so it's gonna get expensive and time consuming, so. Buy a bus, they said. Mm. It'll be fun, they said. Uh, well, at least we know like what could potentially be it. We're taking a break for lunch. We're gonna go into town, go get some stuff, and then be back so we can work on this baby. All right, so we are pretty much wrapping up on day two. We um, did some more, a couple other things to this pipe right here exhaust pipe so it's got to sit in for 24 hours so tomorrow we'll try it again we tried it to start it up today and it still had a bunch of exhaust leaks so we're still trying to fix that um, come over here this transmission linkage uh, they call them Heinz joints for the shifter were about to fall apart so that could have been really bad as far as leaving it stranded so I took one of them off and we got to go match that up at O'Reilly's but it's chugging along a little bit working on the lights Still trying to mess with that, figure out what's going on, but um, yeah, we got a few more days left of this, I'm sure. So you look really sexy, babe. Yeah, I'm mm. Greased nice up, and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Um, we passed out last night. We were exhausted after our travel day, and then coming here to work on the bus. I think it may be a pipe. Uh, there was a pipe that wasn't fitting right, so we're gonna try that today. And hopefully that solves the problem. Yeah, we'll see. We've got school that we're working on because it's a regular day, right? Yeah, the worst day. <laughs> Kyle's gonna go out there. It's a little chilly. It was 23 cold, degrees this cold, morning cold, when we woke cold. up. So Kyle's going to, or Kyle and Scott, the bus grease monkey, are going to let it warm up a little bit before they go outside to work on the bus. Um, hopefully it's supposed to be a high of 50 tonight. Yeah, we'll see. So we'll see if it gets up in, in the, the warmer temperatures because we traded flip-flops for duck boots. So we found Kyle. He's literally underneath the bus. Sitting up in the bus. Yeah, we've got a got to put a part back on here. We're going to try to get the bus cranked back up this morning and see if we have fixed our exhaust leaks. And if we have, we will know, then we'll test drive it. And if we got our boost, then we know we got our problem fixed. So, but I got to get this part on before I can do that. So that's why I'm underneath the bus. So basically what this is, is this is part of the shifting system for the manual transmission. Um, this is what the rear, the back part of it that actually kicks it into gear and out of gear. So that's what I'm working on currently. That was loose though, right? Well, the problem is these things are just wore out after millions of shifts or whatever. Like they, we got our money's worth out of them. Like they're just about to fall apart. So we, you know, it's, it's just one of the things that'll leave you stranded if you don't get it taken care of. So we're gonna get those back out this afternoon and probably go try to match those up. See basically like there it fell apart. That's what it's going to do at some point if we don't get them replaced while we're going down the road. So Now, these are not the new ones. No, these are not the new ones. These are the old ones. Um, we haven't been successful in finding new ones yet. So we're just going to stick these back on to test drive it to make sure, you know, to see if we've got our engine problem resolved. We've got to do a test drive, which means I now have to clean up my whole workspace, everything that can potentially fall. So getting stuff done is proving to be very difficult when you're working on the bus. All right guys, we are gonna be doing our first test drive of the day. There was no exhaust leak, so that's a plus. Kyle's got the kids and the dogs, and we are off. He's gonna go down the hill one more time. Let's hope this test drive goes better than the other one. Here she comes.
Now this hill does not look as, as crazy on camera as it does in person because Kyle's got to come from right over here and build up a huge head of steam in order to get up this hill. So if the exhaust repair worked, then he should be able to get up the hill a lot faster than he did.